Gale, Deculus Johnson. I'm the owner of Sable Images. We specialize in African American memorabilia, antiques, and collectibles. I've been collecting now for over 20 years. Have had several stores, retail shops, one on Crenshaw, one on Lemur Park. Right now, I'm doing uh, more focused on presentations. Uh, want to get more active with the schools and professional organizations as well. Uh, my ultimate goal is to have a museum. A museum here in LA or whatever campus that I can get on specializing solely in African American memorabilia. So unlike your African museums, we're talking about memorabilia where I can share slave shackles, slave documents, um, we do have your vintage uh, figurines and cookie jars as well as books and odd uh, items as well. Today I'm featuring a Buffalo Soldier discharge paper. I have a Up From Slavery book by Booker T. Washington as well as a Confederate hundred dollar bill showing us that we were actually on hundred dollar bills doing the mid 1800s but showing unusual exhibits. Uh, going through the educational system, a master's degree, MBA, and I think it's up to us as a people to educate our youth ourselves and not depend on the schools to show us what our heritage is all about. And so from collecting, it's like, I got to go out and share and started uh, a hobby that started into a retail business. The first thing I collected was a little bisque doll. It was a little doll that fit like in the palm of your hand, had little pigtails all over her head, and um, I had a book on black memorabilia, and I think in the book, the the doll was like $45, $50, and I had only paid like $20 for it. So it enlightened me to say that you can find things out there and they're worth a lot more than what you may pay for them if you have the knowledge of knowing, you know. And so um, from there, I just started collecting. I started going to antique stores, yard sales, estate sales, swap meets, and finding different things. I found a Jim Crow sign that said color served in the rear and at the time my son was probably about six or so and so I was all excited and it was like read this read it and he read it and it was like color served in the rear. He had no clue. He read the words but he had no clue what was behind those words. So with me being all Afrocentric and all that I thought if my son doesn't know there are a lot of other kids out there that don't know, and there are a lot of adults that need to be able to teach. And so that really started my journey of um, collecting or antiquing, and then bringing it back to not only collect myself, but to collect where I can then sell and share so somebody else can, can purchase it and, um, and share as well. Each one teach one. did. Now it's like the raw it is, the more racist it is, that's what I'm looking for. Because I want to find stuff that a lot of people didn't know about. Uh, today I'm featuring um, an Agatha Christie book. Have you heard about that one? Ten Little Niggers, Agatha Christie. So I have that one here. Um, at one time it's like I found this one picture and it was a baby drinking out of an ink bottle and the capture underneath said nigger milk and that one kind of got to me but other than that I'm looking for it. The raw it is, the racist it is, that's what I want to find because you know it's like the unbelievable stuff, the shock treatment stuff is what I'm I've been to Africa several times, 
And going there, it's not like you can just walk out of there with artifacts like that. And so it was like an underground kind of thing. Um, I, and I, I get this knock on the door, because I had put the word out, and that's what I was there for.